I would say that um, this is truly uh, a, a, a juncture in uh, the history uh, of modern Kuwait, uh, i.e. Kuwait after the constitution. Uh, we have uh, recently uh, changed the uh, electoral law uh, to allow uh, one man, one vote. Uh, also, uh, we have pushed through a uh, uh, dramatic uh, uh, development plan that uh, intends to uh, inject uh, a lot uh, of government money into the infrastructure, uh, but more importantly, uh, in the uh, development of our human capital, which is the most important resource that we have. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, uh, it is a time uh, in history where, uh, because of Kuwait's position uh, and its size, we are normally greatly influenced by what's going on in the region. And thankfully, uh, things have stabilized much uh, more recently uh, in the neighborhood uh, than has been the case in the last uh, 10 to 15 years. So when you bring all these things together, you will find that uh, it is truly a great opportunity uh, for Kuwait, uh, not only for Kuwaitis, but also for foreign businesses uh, who intend to uh, partner with us. We have, we have loads of initiatives. Uh, I mean, one of the most important uh, uh, events that I, I, I have to uh, define or, or, or uh, speak about is the uh, institution of, a, uh, of our most recent ministry, the Ministry for Youth and Youth Affairs, uh, that uh, came into effect uh, less than a year ago now, uh, in an effort uh, and an attempt to uh, ensure that we have one uh, body that uh, is tasked with uh, looking into uh, ways to ameliorate and to uh, focus and to define uh, means and measures by which uh, government spending and government initiatives can be uh, targeted or will uh, reach the targeted uh, or focused audience, namely uh, the youth. Uh, uh, a multitude of uh, different uh, events and uh, uh, investments uh, have been undertaken by the ministry in, in its very short tenure uh, in an attempt to uh, emphasize the importance uh, of youth. Um, I, I, I doubt that a week goes by that we don't have uh, a minister that is uh, uh, inaugurating or opening uh, some form of uh, small business or small enterprise. Uh, another very important uh, aspect that uh, needs to be also uh, defined is the recent establishment of a uh, about seven billion dollar uh, fund for small and medium enterprises uh, that was passed by law uh, less than six to eight months ago. Uh, for sure, um, the youth, uh, uh, you know, the 18 to 35 year olds will certainly uh, have a, a large proportion of that. Uh, this is uh, the target uh, uh, group. It also, uh, this group also uh, is uh, unproportionately large uh, as a pr uh, proportion of the, of, of the population. And logically, uh, I'm sure that uh, they will stand to gain uh, proportionally as much as they deserve from uh, uh, this fund. Uh, we can go on for hours speaking about the different uh, events or different uh, initiatives and uh, uh, different ways and means by which the government is uh, attempting to uh, is attempting to you know uh, put uh, uh, to, to take action uh, not only uh, to speak and uh, I'm happy to go into the details of that if, if, if you would like. Uh, um, we're looking uh, at, uh, we just, we're not looking, we just, uh, for example, uh, uh, inaugurated uh, two mini racetracks uh, because we are very well aware that the youth uh, enjoy, uh, you know, go-karting and drifting and I don't know what other things the youth like to do their cars nowadays. Uh, that is very recent. Um, uh, Ministry of Youth and Sports, uh, together with uh, 
many uh, non-governmental uh, organizations have instituted different um, initiatives by which uh, the youth are sent for training uh, overseas uh, um, through joint ventures with uh, different uh, international conglomerates that uh, uh, Kuwaiti parties uh, have ownership in. Um, we have a fantastic uh, uh, initiative by which uh, any Kuwaiti who uh, receives uh, accreditation or acceptance from one of the top 100 universities that are uh, listed on the uh, uh, Times Educational uh, Supplement or uh, the report that is uh, uh, defined, defines uh, these universities uh, in, in the U.S. gets automatic scholarship from the government. Um, many, you know, I mean, we're, we're talking, you know, education, uh, uh, extracurricular activities. Uh, for example, every uh, student in uh, every Kuwaiti student gets a monthly uh, stipend from the government to help uh, in in uh, paying for you know books and sundries uh, for for university. So it's it's a multi-colored, uh, multi-leveled. Uh, approach that we're taking in, in an attempt to um, make sure that uh, the youth uh, of today uh, develop to becoming the true uh, masters of fate uh, for Kuwait in, in, in the future. I am proud to see that Kuwait has regained uh, or is starting to regain its uh, place uh, amongst uh, the world community, specifically uh, on its uh, diplomatic credentials. Uh, and one of the things that signals Kuwait uh, out from many uh, other countries is the fact that it is truly neutral on uh, a multitude of uh, very sensitive and uh, um, you know, important issues. And that is the main reason that uh, Kuwait has had the great honor uh, to be uh, asked by the United Nations not to hold not only one but two donor conferences uh, on the Syrian humanitarian crisis uh, in uh, recognition of the fact that Kuwait has the ability to bring different parties to the table because it truly is neutral on, uh, politically neutral on uh, many events. However, if there's one thing that we are not neutral on, uh, it is uh, humanitarian issues. Uh, and again, it is with great pride that uh, uh, Kuwait was named by the uh, UN Secretary General very recently, uh, who called uh, Kuwait uh, the capital of uh, humanitarian uh, provision and humanitarian uh, uh, help um, and again we pride ourselves as Kuwaitis not only in the government but also in the private uh, uh, you know, as, 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 as citizens uh, to be very engaged uh, with uh, non-governmental organizations and with charities uh, in an attempt to alleviate the suffering uh, that, is, that is caused by uh, any uh, natural or man-made man upheaval. I mean I, I recall very clearly um, the the way that Kuwaitis were very generous in uh, uh, providing uh, assistance for uh, the, 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 the Haitian crisis, that, uh, the earthquake that, that occurred uh, recently. Uh, same holds true uh, uh, with the Fukushima uh, uh, tsunami and nuclear disaster. So it, 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 it is certainly not based on, I mean, our humanitarian uh, 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 drive is not based uh, on our regional or uh, secular um, or linguistic uh, uh, positioning. It, it is truly a, a universal uh, global issue that uh, uh, is a, uh, that hits the hearts of every single Kuwaiti. Uh, it, 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 and I'm proud to be a member of this, uh, this community that feels uh, the duty uh, towards humanity uh, that we do right now.